and welcome to Kokwood. Which, by the way, I've also seen here on the island, they spell K-U-T, but online it's spelled K-O-O-D. D. Yeah. Oh, because 55 islands is not enough yeah, in exactly. this area. Yeah, exactly. This is one of those 55 islands that are close to Koh Chang, and we've heard very good things about this beautiful little island that apparently is very natural, very raw, and some of the best beaches in Thailand, apparently. And waterfalls, but yeah. let's see, it's really dry right now. So we are coming to you from good time resort we decided that we were going to do this one on a budget mm -hmm. so budget that we have no ac <laughs> i may have made a slight error when i was selecting properties i did try to eliminate all the ones that didn't have ac because it's super hot right now and i don't know what happened but we ended up without ac this is our cute little room here for this room we're paying close to well, it's 1800 thai baht which is about 52 dollars for Four two Nights. nights that includes breakfast as well though it's surrounded with jungle here really beautiful we've got a hammock that malia is currently enjoying down here yeah it seems nice the owners are sweet people they have dogs they have cats and they have pineapple trees let's go check one out come with me i'll show you a pineapple tree okay show me uh -huh. and there is an orange Wow! That's a cool pineapple. Are you gonna eat it? Mm, yeah. You are? Right now? Yeah. Bite into it. Ah. <laughs> All right, so the owners here, they seem really lovely at this place. They run the hotel, they cook the food, they serve you, like, it's just together, they I seem to be doing everything. You can see our food is being cooked right now, over there. And there's free tea and coffee, which is pretty good. That's nice. You might struggle a little bit. Is it really spicy? I, no, I don't think it's super spicy. I think it's nice spicy, but you might find it quite spicy. We were sitting down and I could like started coughing after a while because of the chili that's in the air. So I knew that they were up to something. <laughs> Welcome to Cookwood. So where we are right now, we're kind of up here towards the north of the island. We decided today we had a little look at the weather and we're a little bit concerned about the next couple of days. Yeah. Aren't we fancy? We decided beaches today. Beaches we're going to smash day. out some beaches, hopefully get a nice sunset. So we're going to start up north and work our way down through all the beaches. Then tomorrow we're headed to the waterfall and there's some really cool stuff in the jungle that we're going to go and explore. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Francis is super excited. Yes, I am so excited. Fancy is the name of the cat, not this person here. Alright, so I read a couple of vlogs online when I was looking into the island and pretty much said that one of the best things to do is just to rent a scooter, and drive around and kind of get lost. It's not a super busy island or anything like that, so you can always find a hidden gem. And I think we've come to our first hidden gem. Welcome to Secret Beach. We have come to Secret Beach. It's obviously not much of a secret, there are other people here. But it's really nice, we were just saying how awesome it is to finally find a beach where you can paddle and swim and it's a nice soft sandy bottom. Where we've been dealing with quite rocky coral beaches recently, so it hasn't been so easy to just wade around in the water and for Malia to run in and out and chase waves and things like that. So first beach is pretty nice, right? Yeah, but also if you want to grab a drink, there are, I think, two places here where you can. Uh, but we have to move on because we want to explore more beaches today. It's the beach tour. So it's also worth noting that right now the island is heading into the off season, the low season or rainy season and it's roughly between May and October. But let's see, so far we've been quite lucky but the weather shows rain in the next couple of days so I hope we're lucky. Right, so we've stopped along the beachfront again to a different beach which is called Tapao Beach. So I'm literally navigating us through uh, Google Maps, which sometimes is actually better because you get to 
zoom in on different things and find various different treasures. Let's go check it out. So I think it's DIY coffee, which I don't mind. Like you you choose your strength, right? I've never so, really like, seen. I mean, yeah, that's pretty good. There's your double espresso. I always there, have so. an issue with like how strong a certain coffee is. Is it even hot? Yeah. It's cold, though. It's not very hot. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice coffee though. It's actually really tasty. And I got an iced. Oh, it's latte. And mine came as it should have come. <laughs> no, they told you a different cup. <laughs> this is high! <laughs> oh my god! You can't resist a good swing, can you? This is a long way. I thought it was not so high and now it's very high. Don't like wipe anybody out on the way down though, okay? <laughs> no, 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 the stu- <laughs> This is dangerous! I have one tip for you, don't take the stairs with you. <laughs> All right, now that Ina has almost killed herself on a swing, there's your adrenaline for yeah, the day. that's it. So it's almost sunset, but we were going to stay here, and then we saw this really cool bar that's not far from here. So we're going to try and make a mad dash to go to this sunset bar and then for some traditional food. Let's go. All right, so we've come through some random gate, which I have a feeling we weren't meant to come through. All right, so we've definitely come where we're not meant to come. We'll get there, hopefully, before the sun goes down. Unfortunately, no sunset tonight, and we are heading back now to our bike, which we're pretty sure is parked in the staff car park behind the kitchen. The bar itself looks a lot nicer online, if I'm honest. It's a little bit rough around the edges, but it's fine to go and sit there on a bean bag, have a drink, watch the sunset if you get a sunset. But yeah, don't be fooled by some of the pictures online, but it's a good location for a sundowner. So now we're going to go and find some local Thai food, hopefully, for dinner because there's a lot of. Hopefully it will be yummy. What do you want for dinner? I want pizza. You want pizza? <laughs> but they don't serve that in Thai restaurants, do they? Um, what do they sell? Thai food. Then what is Thai food? Like rice and egg. Like rice and egg and noodles. Rice and egg and, rice and, noodles, egg and, and noodles. noodles. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go and find some dinner. Adam has just had a realization. Right now, because I'm sweating a lot, and I just suddenly had a thought that I'm really, really excited to sleep in that room without air conditioning <laughs> tonight. Three of us in a bed nice. with a small fan. I can't wait to not get enough sleep tonight. Just, yeah, it's gonna be fun. <laughs> Waterfoot and giant trees. Which we always find fascinating when you have these giant ancient trees that have been around forever. Then we're gonna to go to a waterfall. There has not been rain for a couple of days, so we're gonna be keeping our fingers crossed. Apparently it's a really cool waterfall that you can actually swim in. So we're gonna go and check that out. Are you gonna swim in the waterfall, my dear? Yeah, but yeah. is it cold? I don't know, let's find out. And then the journey will continue to some more cool beaches. And apparently there's a sea gypsy village here on the island that we're gonna go and try and find. So it's gonna be more exploring and go and find some things that you might not have seen before. Are we here? <laughs> I don't know. We're kind of hitting a dead end. I have no shoes, guys. I lost my shoes a few days ago. I like this, it's super jungly. 
on the map. On the map it says nothing. <laughs> the map says you're we're, deep in the jungle. We're following a road and we have no idea where it goes. So we've gone into the jungle and we have no idea where we are. I mean, it's beautiful. It's super cool. Do you Must. want me to walk? I'm all right with, with my feet. What's over there? There's somebody's house there. Somebody's house? It's a house in the so jungle. So this, this, this is a path I, to their house. I didn't want to find out who lives there and why they live in the jungle, to be honest. But I looked on the map and it looks like there was a turning we should have gone off at. Great. So let's go. My poor feet. Sorry. <laughs> we found the sign to the big tree and it's not there. It's towards the Huang Nam Kiao. <laughs> yeah. What a what? Good effort there, babe. You try, you try. Huang Nam Kiao Waterfall. Same. Sure. <laughs> let's go. We think we found it. Okay, let's go. That way. Ooh, there's some sticks. Can I be in the lead? Yeah, go ahead. I found the candy. It was very peaceful for about 10 seconds before a taxi full of tourists arrived. If only we hadn't taken that wrong turning, but then we wouldn't have had our adventure in the jungle. But so we keep breaking our own rule of turning up to a, an activity, something before seven o'clock or eight o'clock, you know? That's true. We keep turning up at like 11, 12 o'clock. If you get here early, you don't get this. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna drive very quickly now. There's a, supposed to be two trees in this jungle and we wanna get there before these guys who are clearly also doing the same thing. <laughs> now, let's go. Yeah! All right, so we have found the entrance to the second ancient tree. We were just discussing them. We've seen mixed information about how old these trees actually are. Anything ranging from a couple of hundred years old all the way up to thousands of years old. I would probably say closer to the thousands because of just how big they are and knowing how long it takes these massive trees to grow. I think it's very possible that they are a thousand years old. But this is very cool, just kind of creeping through the jungle here. There's all these pieces of like the monk robes tied to all the trees to mark the way down. So I feel like this tree has a bit more significance to the other one. This one is Maka tree. Okay, there it is, I see it. Tell us an interesting fact about this tree. So this tree lived a million miles from when the dinosaurs existed. And when all of the dinosaurs were born, this tree was still here. Nice. So where the tree is, there's also a sign for a waterfall. But there's been no rain, so let's go and see if there is an actual waterfall. All right, so we're still going. It's a long way down and on the bike, it is definitely not the safest way. If you're not a good driver, do not even attempt it. Adam's been driving bikes for a long time all over the world. So I know he's a good driver, but uh, still it's not worth taking the risk. So we might, she we'll see. She still doesn't fully trust me though. Everybody makes mistakes, but we'll see. If we feel like it's still a long way to go, we'll just turn around and go back. Hey, we're actually here. So right now we are basically crouching <laughs> in the waterfall. There'd be water all over our heads right now. But we are now coming to the end of the dry season. There's only been a little bit of rain. So like, <laughs> we've got that. <laughs> is that a big waterfall? No. <laughs> it does look like a big waterfall when the water... When yeah, I reckon when this is going, it's pumping. Big yeah? drop. It's really cool. This wasn't the waterfall that we planned It's to not the waterfall we're meant to come, but those are the best days. And we don't need to see like a pumping waterfall. This is so much more beautiful. And there's no one else here. We've got the place to ourselves. Can't swim. Don't want to swim. But yeah, really cool. We're back to the bike. It's a little bit of a steep climb. It's not too bad, but if you've got bad knees, you might want to avoid that one. But yeah, we had fun and now it's time for lunch. This 
Does that look so good? Can you have some? Let's steal a chip. Yeah. Can you steal a chip? It's good. Yeah. It's very hot. We are here at Quid Vibes. We're very, very hungry and we drove past and we just instantly this place kind of stood out to us on the side of the road. It's not like the typical place. We came in for the Quid Vibes. Let's see if we get them. It's good? Mm-hmm. Yeah? How good? A hundred. A hundred? Wow. How was your food? Food was great actually. Like it was quite busy in there, so it did take a little while to come, but when it came it was worth the wait. Good portion of chicken. I was happy. Marley yeah. was happy with her smoothie bowl, she loved it. And I also loved daddy chips. And she loved my chips. Oh they came with like a truffle mayonnaise. It was Ooh, super. The nice. chips were very what? nice. Same? Okay. Yeah, so he said the cafe has been very busy every day. So it is a popular spot. Just go there, chill, grab a coffee and take your time. Oh the rush. coffee was great as well. The coffee was good, so. We Bye. It. Welcome to Bambao Beach. Let's go. What? We have to dock it. These are baby pigs. Okay, so apparently Bangbao, at least this resort, has tiny baby pigs. Oh my God. Oh, yeah, go, 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 go quickly. Oh my god. Look, he's laying down, he wants cuddles. <laughs> Are they like dogs? This is crazy. Are they cats? I think so. Yeah. Oh, there's another one over there. Oh, they've got loads of them. <gasps> there's like a whole family of them over here. Molly, there's a tiny, tiny one now coming out. Oh, that one is so cute. <laughs> <laughs> this is so weird. This guy's digging holes. What are you looking for in the sand? No. Oh, what are you looking for? Looking for truffles. Ow! Yeah, they nibble your toes. Ow! <laughs> so a very unexpected meeting with some little baby pigs. Oh, there's oh. a giant tortoise as well. <laughs> I want a baby pig pet. Now. So we're at Ministry of Sea, Bangbao Beach, and um, and now I see a tortoise. Let's check it out. So Bangabao Beach, first and foremost, I would say, I really recommend going down there. There's some really nice resorts and things. And we stopped for a drink at the deck, which is a really nice place to stop and just kind of chill out for a while. And now we need to kill some time. We found out there's a night market tonight. So we've got a couple of hours. We're going past the place. So we're gonna do a pre-dinner dessert and maybe even a post-dinner dessert. Let's see. Yeah, this cat just like, sat down and it came like running over. They were part of the furniture. Yeah. And this one, he's just contemplating life. Maria, ice cream. Ice cream, ice cream. Oh, so quick. Come over here. It's called Non Quad Station. It's tucked away in the mangrove forest. And it's a super chilled vibe. So. And it's just down the road from the other restaurant we went yeah, to. Yeah, it's literally just around the corner. It's close to everything, and it, but it feels like in the middle of nowhere, so it's, it's cool. Most important, we have cats. Mm, sure. The verdict is come here and have the waffle. Ina and I both had the almond and caramel waffle. I had it with vanilla ice cream, she had it with chocolate. It was like 79 baht, it's about $3. Really, really worth it. And it's not like massive. We haven't even had our dinner yet. So it was like the perfect portion to just kind of like have a little sweet taste. And then we're gonna go and have our dinner at the night market, so. Is it working? Yeah. So, we didn't think that there were ATMs on the No, island, so in Comac, apparently there's like one ATM. And we were under the impression that it was even more remote here and it was like a cash only island. I've seen since we've been on the island at least three ATMs. That one wasn't working, this one is. Cash it money. Try 
Can you show me what you've got? Broccoli. Broccoli. Is it yummy? Mm -hmm. What else did you get? Show me what else you got. Tastes like raw. Tastes like raw. What else have you got there? Oh, look at that sausage. That's for me. That's for you. Nice. It looks kind of raw still. I was actually wondering, I was like, broccoli on a grill, it's going to take a long time. It's okay, Squish, we'll find something else for you and you'll like your sausage. What did you get, Amy? I got tofu. Tofu, barbecue, yeah. Can I try? Fish sticks. And? <laughs> I don't know what the real name is, but I call these noodle mushrooms. They're just mushrooms, some sort of a mushroom type thing. I mean, look, balanced diet, protein, vegetables, <laughs> no, raw like vegetables. Goatee goatee beard. <laughs> or it can be a fringe. Ramadi, can I see how you'd look with a beard? Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, talk to me about these coconut pancakes. I don't think you're gonna like them. Okay, too sweet? No, but it reminds me of the um, usual Thai desserts, which I like. It's Fitchy, the texture. Grainy. No, coconutty, it's the texture. <laughs> Try it, you tell me. Okay. Okay. Do you agree? very glutinous, it's like jelly. Yeah, which is a lot of the Thai desserts. Yeah, see look if I do that. Yeah. It's like so a I jelly. Think. Because it's, it's warm, yeah. it kind of works. Mm. I don't like like jelly sweets and things like that. That works because it's warm. I'll have another one of those. Our last dessert, burnt cheesecake. Good. It's nice? Mm. Good. Yeah, I love a burnt cheesecake. All right, Squish, how have you enjoyed this island? Good. What did you like most about it? This? The food? <laughs> yeah. There's a pretty good food scene here on Kokur. Did you enjoy going to see the beaches? Yeah. And the pigs? Yeah. And the tortoise? Yeah. And the cats at yeah. the cafe? And the waterfall we went to this morning? Yeah. And the swings? Yeah. And the hammocks? Yeah. There's lots of yeses. And I've had a really good time as well. You going? Okay. To the swings. Okay, go to the swings. I think you would agree Kokur has exceeded our expectations. Yeah, yeah, we, we came here with very low basic. expectations. We didn't think there'd be much here. The restaurant scene is really strong. The beach club kind of vibe is really strong. There's some beautiful white sandy beaches. And I would say four days would be better for Kokur in terms of like making sure you tick, 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 tick everything. But the two days that we've had here have been ample enough to see some really cool things. So that concludes this vlog and I hope you guys enjoyed our little whistle stop tour here in Kokur. I hope you can hear me well enough over the music. We're heading back tomorrow on the speedboat. Don't know if we mentioned, it's a 90 minute speedboat going back to Ko Chang, which is 1,200 baht per adult, 50% for kids. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did the usual stuff, please like it. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I hope you've subscribed and you've turned on your notifications and tell us your favorite place to visit in Thailand. If you've been to Kokud, did we miss something that we really should have seen? See you next time.